a while ago, I made a TikTok about manspreading and how the biological reason for doing it is that we don't want to crush or overheat our testicles. Nearly every reply to this was, then buy another seat. And I completely agree. This biological reason for taking up more space does not excuse invading people's space. Plane seats used to be 19 inches wide back in the 80s. Now they're often as low as 16 inches. My shoulders are 22 inches wide. And I'm not even one of the biggest people. I'm always uncomfortable on planes. And I've got friends who lift way more than me that are way wider than me. If we want to be comfortable, we should have to pay for two seats or first class to accommodate our extra width. The same is true for obese people. Airlines already accommodate larger people with a seatbelt extender for free. Should they be given free extra seating for personal choices too? Of course not. Just like anyone who chooses to lift weights to become wider or larger, these are the consequences of their choices. And obviously, people might hear that and say, choice, and get mad that I'm saying that obesity is a choice. But it is. Any metabolic ward study, which is the gold standard for nutrition, shows that body mass decreases in caloric deficits, period. People's metabolisms may be slower, but that just means you need to either speed your metabolism up through various ways or decrease your intake. There is still a choice. These things all apply to restaurant seating as well. In fact, I have been out with a friend when we were at a, when we were at a table that couldn't fit us. Did he complain to the restaurant and tell them that they were fat phobic? No. He said he couldn't fit. And we asked for a different table, and I don't think either of us have thought about that interaction again until I began writing this script, of course. That said, you know, fuck the airlines for stealing those extra three inches. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. If you got some value out of that, please give me a little subscribe somewhere in there, whether that is on Apple, Spotify, wherever you're listening right now. And uh, you can also find me on TikTok, Instagram, pretty much everywhere, honestly, at Andrew PFM. So uh, yeah, guys, until next time, we'll see y'all later.